back. Today I'm going to share with you guys a um, Lovers at the Beach stamping design. And I'm also going to show you how you can create it, okay? For starters, I always use Rejuvical as my base. And Rejuvical can be found at Walmart, less than $10. I use um, Milani as a base. This one is called White on the Spot. I'm also going to be using the Sally Henson Insta Dry, and this one is called Quick Sand. Simple color, and this one is called Ocean Sight. I also have Cold Leather. I have went wild putting on Aries and I'm also going to be using Sally Henson color frenzy and this one is called sea salt for my stamping polish I'm gonna be using Mundo de Uña black number two for my stamping plates, I'm going to be using, this one is for Mundo de Uña and is Valentine number three. And I'm gonna be using this couple right here. Also, I'm going to be using Yubi Cheek from collection two and this one is two or three. And I'm gonna be using the palm trees on this plate. I am also using Shiny Image Plate number three and I'm going to be using this design right here, this lip design, and I'm sorry about the background. For my stamper, I am going to be using AliExpress and just the regular card to scrape. And I'm going to be cleaning my plate with a cotton cloth, and I'm also going to be cleaning my stamper with a lint roller. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied some liquid latex around my nails um, for less cleanup. Um, basically, it's just like hair glue. Um, you find these as alleys. And I have a sponge here, some makeup sponge, and that's how I am going to create my gradient. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my colors to my sponge. I am very sorry about the noise. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my nails. Just like that. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat um, the same. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my nail and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did it um, a couple of more. And you can basically do it as dark as you want the colors to be. I think it's fine there, so I'm going to go ahead and add some top coat to even my gradient and my tack up here is such feet so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and I'm gonna go ahead and remove um, the late tack and clean around my nails and I'll be back okay guys so my nails is already dry and I went ahead and clean up around my nails after removing the latex and now I'm going to be using the color frenzy and just gonna add 
some to the top of my nail here. Just like that and just a little bit on the bottom where the scene is. Just like that. And let that dry. And after it's dry, I'm gonna add a, a coat of sesh fee. Just in case when I stamp my nails, if if I make a mistake, I can remove it with tape. So we, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start by stamping the couple. There it is. And there goes that chicken again, that rooster. I'm just cleaning. Right there. So I want to stamp it right in the middle. So. And there they are. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the palm tree. And there it is, and I'm just cleaning the bottom piece, and I'm going to be stamping it on the corner here. Okay, next I'm going to be stamping the leaf. And I'm going to be placing it right here in this corner. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to add a coat of my sesh feet. Okay, my top coat is already dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add a moon um, using this brush on nail glue. Okay, and this um, wheel here, I found this one at uh, 5 and below. And guys, go ahead and check out the description box. I will put down the link to some of the products I use here. Okay guys, so we are finished and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for your comments. Thank you subscribers. and. Come back, okay? Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.